There have been more than 2,000 privacy breaches at St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton since 2018, including one staff member accessing 49 different patient files. One of those files belonged to the deceased mother of a Calgary man who is now taking the organization to court. Marilyn Gallant died three years ago. Today is really the start of, um, of a much bigger fight that, that just because she's gone doesn't mean that, that I can't keep fighting for her. Former Hamilton resident Arthur Gallant learned in January that his mother's hospital records at St. Joseph's Healthcare had been breached. Since then, he's been fighting for answers and compensation. You know, a donation or any sort of form of compensation won't bring my mom back, um, but it will allow me to feel as if this breach was sort of not for nothing. Arthur says he's asking for a total of $5,000. He says much of that will be given to a charity that takes disabled kids to Blue Jays games, the rest so he can travel to Pittsburgh where she died. They were on a road trip to see her beloved Blue Jays take on the Pirates and to see Cher in concert. She suffered heart failure hours before the game and was hospitalized during both the game and the concert. Arthur still went to both. I knew that my mom was always about, you know, me not wanting to miss out on opportunities. And, and I knew that had I not gone to the concert and had she, you know, miraculously, you know, woken up, she would have been so mad. St. Joseph's Healthcare acknowledged 2,183 breaches in a statement to CHCH News, but says 93% of those, or 2,025, are from misdirected faxes to family doctors. St. Joe sends out more than a million faxes each year. The staff member who accessed Marilyn Glant's file and 48 others out of curiosity was fired in March, along with three other staff members previously let go between 2018 and 2020, who also looked at files they shouldn't have. Adam Atkinson, CHCH News, Hamilton.